Hi, I'm Clara. I'm one of the trainers at Holistic Hounds and I've just popped on to do a quick video on muzzle training. So um, this is for dogs that don't necessarily need a muzzle, but you want to get them used to wearing one for stressful situations such as going to the vets or groomers and that sort of thing. Um, it's really handy just to be able to give people around the dog confidence and also so that you know that everyone is safe and the dog can't hurt anyone. Um, particularly if they've hurt themselves and they're going to act out of character. So first things first, you want to get a muzzle that fits your dog. Um, we mostly use Baskerville muzzles, they tend to fit most dogs unless you've got a really short nosed breed. Um, they come in a range of different sizes, usually like one to one's the smallest and then they go up kind of two, three, four. Um, so this is a six. I'm just going to show you how to fit it. Oliver, this way. Good boy. So I'll pop it on. So you don't want it too loose that it falls off, but you don't want it too tight that they're squished. So that isn't a bad fit. I might, there's a little bit at the bottom you can take out. I might take it out for Oliver just because his nose is a bit squished up against the, the front. Um, but he can pant, he can open his mouth, he can drink. So I would say that is a pretty good fit. Um, if it was too loose and kind of hanging off his nose, you can tighten it up using the strap. But otherwise, that fits you well, doesn't it? <laughs> Big sigh. Good boy. So, so, having a muzzle on can be stressful for a dog. So we want to condition them so that it's not something that's to be feared or that it's stressful. Um, you might find that if your dog's, the first time your dog's had a muzzle on at the vets, they can be very stressed because it's a stressful situation. They get a muzzle chucked on them and they have people touching them and they don't like it. So the best thing to do is condition them to the muzzle so that it's not a stressful thing when they go into those environments. And we do that using treats. Yes. Um, sometimes you can use peanut butter as well and pop it on the, the kind of bottom bit. So he knows already. <laughs> um, but that can be a bit stress, stressful, uh, difficult if they're kind of, they can't get to it and they're licking it and then they can come around the other side to lick it. So best thing to do is use a couple of treats. So, come around this way. Use it. So, I'm going to pop my hand in like that because I want him to voluntarily pop his nose in the muzzle. So, if we go like that, good boy. And then I'll pop it in the side, good boy. And then you can always add a word on it as well. So, muzzle, oh, good boy. I haven't done this with him for a while, but I think he knows the drill. <laughs> good boy. So see how he's holding his head in the muzzle because he knows that's where the food comes from. Muzzle. Good boy. And then what you want them to do is hold their head in the muzzle for longer periods of time. So first of all, you might literally just be going, they get the treat, they take their head out. And then you're going to start delaying the time until you give the treat. This way. So I might say muzzle. And see, that was a bit long because I haven't done it for a while. And then give the treat. So he's voluntarily holding his nose in the muzzle for a bit longer. <laughs> boy. You're a clever boy. And then muzzle, you can do it. And then one time you do it when they're comfortable with that. Sorry, just clip it on. And then I'm going to take it off again. Good boy. You dropped it. It's here. And so the more you do it, the more the, the dog is going to think, oh, the muzzle's a good thing. Muzzle. Good boy. And be quite happy to stick their nose in it. Muzzle. And then one time when they're ready, just clip it on and then take them for a walk. He's like, where's the treat still? Good boy. Best thing to do is use smaller treats so that you can kind of just pop them in the side. <laughs> Boy. And then, yeah, take them for a walk with the muzzle on so they get used to it. 
I don't have a lead on me, but this way. So they get used to just walking around with the muzzle this way. See, Oliver hasn't had one on for a while, so he's a bit like, what's this on my nose? This way. <laughs> Good boy. It's a bit of an art getting the, um, the tree in. Good boy. This way. And then when you take it off, you can give him a treat again. So it's all a really, <laughs> a really positive experience. And they want to put their head in the muzzle. Good boy. Good boy. We hope that helps you condition your dog to a muzzle. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop us a comment, um, message us, and don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of thing thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye